So that transitions us into our scripture of the week related to smarts. And we want to talk about um, dealing with grief and loss here on the show. And again, you can check out this clip every uh, week on the, the YouTube, on our Church on the Rock YouTube page. And it's our scripture of the week related to sports is relating to a guy that we profiled here on the on the show, Hubert Davis, the court, the the head basketball coach of, of the North Carolina Tar Heels, and talking about losing his mother and having to go on and to be an example and to continue to, um, you know, be an example of Christ and and get closer to God, despite you know his mom him, him never being able to be able to see his mom until someday when they go to heaven so um we're going to talk about dealing with loss and our scripture of the week this week and if you're watching this uh on youtube you can check out fourth and ten christian sports show every wednesday from 10 30 to about 11 50 and uh we'd love for you to join us so this is going to be our scripture of the week is psalm 62 verse 8 it's really the second part of verse 8 not to, not to feel it, and it's talking about as we're going to be talking about here dealing, um, dealing with loss, and uh, it says, "Pour our, out your heart to Him, for God is our refuge." It's and that's the New Living Translation. It's important to realize that when we're going through hard times, when we're dealing with loss, we need don't be afraid to go to God about anything that's going on in your life, whether it's grief whether it's um, unforeseen circumstances, whether it's hard things that we're dealing with, don't be afraid to pour your heart out to God. You know, sometimes if sometimes we pour our heart out to the wrong people. If you, some, have you ever been there where maybe you poured out your heart to a friend and the friend wasn't there as well as you thought they would be or they went on and told a bunch of people about your problems? That's not a good friend. But with God, we can trust him. It says in the word in Hebrews that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we can trust our relationship with Jesus and no matter what we're going through. The Bible says that when you go through a season of loss, the first thing you need to do is release your grief. Release your grief. Do not let the grief cause you to walk away from God. Do not let the grief to cause you to be angry. Or it'll cause you to have other emotions. Now that's a lot easier said than done. I'll be honest with you. But it's important that we trust God during those hard times in our life. Tragedy always produces strong emotions. And sometimes good, sometimes bad. A lot of It can be a lot of bad emotions. Anger can rise in. Fear, depression, worry, and sometimes even guilt. These feelings are scary to us and we don't know what to do with them at times. When we have experienced a major loss, these emotions, feelings bubble up with inside of us. And, 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 and no pun intended. I know we talked a lot about the bubble today, but no, no <laughs> pun intended. They, they can bubble up inside of us. <laughs> Bubblicious. Mm. If we don't deal with them now, though, it will take us far longer to recover. You know, if, it, you, know, if you let it just hold on and you, you're not dealing with it, it takes a lot longer to recover. You know, think of you know anything in your health thing. You know, if you have a bad tooth, which I can relate to, eventually it can get a really bad toothache. If you don't take care of it and like take care of a cavity or whatever when it happens, then it could get, it can can cause a lot more problems. It can cause, uh, you know, it pull, it can cause you to have you know a, a lot worse things later on if you don't take care of it right away. Um, some people never directly deal with the grief in their life, and 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 you know they realize they might maybe through a sermon, maybe through a special speaker, maybe through God trying to speak to them that they didn't take care of something they should have taken care of a long time ago. I know I've been in those situations where I realized there was still some lingering stuff that I needed to take care of that wasn't taken care of in the past the way that it should be. So we want to be careful of that. We, we want to take care of the stuff. Do, don't push it down. Don't ignore it. You, you know, as hard as it is to deal with it right now, you need to deal with it right now or it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a worse thing if you don't deal with that situation right now. <coughs> you know, it, it, it could be worse. I mean, whatever it is, you know, you got to make things a priority. You know, maybe, you, you, you know, you got to. Yeah, you got to pay a bill. You know, if you don't, if you don't pay a bill, the bill could get worse. Then, then you can get fined. Say you don't, 
pay a credit card and the, the, the fines just keep coming up and then they have interest and all of a sudden it's a lot more than it, if you would have taken care of it in the beginning. It's just like that too. You, you could get trouble in your finances if you don't take a care of something when you should take care of it. Um, sometimes people pretend it's not there. They play like it doesn't exist. And that's why they're still struggling with emotional stress from losses that occurred even 20 or 30 years ago, 10 years ago. There's a myth that says that God wants you to walk around with a smile on your face all the time saying, praise the Lord. But the Bible doesn't say that anytime. You tell, yes, it talks about, you know, to, to take joy on circumstances happen and things like that. But God also wants us to be real. Uh, I know Jeff. I know Pastor Jeff here at Church on the Rock. When he used to talk about it, he used to say like, "Oh, uh, the, you ever talked about Christians and everybody? You know, everyone just puts a smile on the face." And he, and he used to go, "Hallelujah," huh? you know, and just sing the songs and and do the motions. But doing the motions aren't really dealing with the problems. We want to deal with issues in our life. We want to take care of issues in our life. We just had a great message. From one of the uh, the one of our elders um, of the church here this past Sunday, and he was talking about how there were things that built up in his marriage that he didn't even realize were going on until he had a real upfront and real conversation with his wife, and God really started speaking to him about things. He said, "I need you to do this, this, and this, or it's not going to be fixed." Sometimes we have to rely on God to fix to 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 get. Mm-hmm in the root of some of that stuff that some of that grief some of that stuff that that's not good for us to right. be have in our life and um in fact jesus taught the opposite of you know just putting a smile on your faith is uh, but about and kind of the idea of being real in matthew 5 4 he says god blesses those who mourn for they will be comforted it's okay to grieve it's okay to, you know, cry sometimes. It's all right to cry. Even guys, it's okay to have emotions. When people are Christians, we know that they will go on to heaven. So we need not grief like the world, but our grief can be different. We grieve because we're going to miss them. You know, we're, we, you know, we're never going to have them on earth again. But we, might, if they are, they are, if they, if our relatives are saved, we get to see them again someday. But we can also be at peace because we know that they are with God. So what do we do with so what do you do with your feelings? You shouldn't you shouldn't uh, repress them or stuff them in deep inside of you. You know, you're not a hot pocket, you don't stuff it in a, <laughs> you don't study uh, you stuff a hot pocket with pepperoni or ham or I'm gonna make myself hungry. No, you gotta release them. You never seen it like release, you know, like when a hot dog blows up and it's released. <laughs> it gets released. You put that hot, hot dog in the microwave too long. If you put anything in the microwave too long, it's gonna explode. My sandwich yeah. blew up. You gotta be careful, <laughs> Anna. Yeah, you gotta be really careful. Like I'm having like a can, you know, a can of like chicken out of king, and then the stuff goes all over the place if it, it's bubbling too and much. And I and I have to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually he has to clean it up because I don't have time or whatever. Yeah, right. Or if you're making spaghetti sauce and it starts to bubble and then it pops and then it's, oh man, and the, what a mess that is. I hate when that happens. But, but you know, <laughs> we don't want to keep stuff in there. You don't want to repress it. You want to release it. And it, it, just as you know, food sometimes release. You give them to God. You cry out to God. God, I'm hurt. I'm grieving. This is a tough one to take. If you want a good example of this, read through the book of Psalms where many times David spilled out his guts and, and how he was feeling. He said, God, I'm in a tough time right now. I'm really, really hurting. You cry out to God just like David did. Uh, Psalm 62, 8, as we said, is our scripture of the, of the day. Put out your heart to him for God is your refuge. If you're going through loss right now or tough time lately, please understand that if you don't, release your grief it will pour out eventually maybe places you don't want it to pour out feelings that are pushed down fester and eventually they'll explode in a much worse situation so i encourage you today to wherever you're at with if there's grief there release it you know even if you forgot you didn't do it early maybe it's later than you should but you still can release it today give it to god release your gifts and so that god can begin to heal your heart and um so th- that is um, our scripture of the week related to sports. Just a couple questions to ask yourself. What grief or loss in your life have you struggled to deal with? If there's something that you struggle with to deal with, take care of it now. Think about that. And secondly, how has it affected you? 
How has it affected your relationship with God, your relationship with others? All right, that is our scripture of the week related to sports. Up next in our last few minutes, we're going to talk about why 